Hello and welcome to Vector Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and today I'm going to show you a very exciting new feature of InDesign CS6 called the Content Conveyor Tool. This tool is excellent when you have to reuse elements between documents. So, for example, if you have a couple of text frames or images and you would like to use them again in another document, then it's much easier to use this tool than just simply selecting and copying them uh, between the documents. So let me show you how it works. What you need to do is to select this tool, the Content Collector tool, or you can just press B and it will show you this conveyor here at the bottom. And it has two states. It has the collector, which you can see here in the icon as well. Or if you press B again, it switches to placer. So collect and place, that's the main functions of this tool. So I'm just pressing B to switch between these. And first we need to collect something. Now, whenever we are in this mode in InDesign, we will be able to just simply click on something that we want to use, and then it will be automatically added to the conveyor. So let's just say I would like to have this image used and that one and that one, and that one, and maybe this one here on the right. So you can see we already have five images here. And same way I can click on text frames, and as you can see, now that one is also added, or maybe we can add the text after it as well. So we already added some elements to uh, the conveyor, and now we can go to another document, and here we can choose Content Placer tool, or we can just simply press B to switch between these two states. Now, just like placing items from Bridge or from uh, Finder, we will also see that we have seven items prepared to be placed into this document, and uh, we can switch between them by using the right and left arrows. Now, the cool thing is that you have a preview of all these elements here at the bottom. So unlike in previous versions of InDesign, we always had to um, just roughly remember what we wanted to place in, and we could only see the preview one by one uh, next to the cursor, but now we can see a much bigger preview area here at the bottom. Of course, if you don't want to see it, you can still choose not to see it, so you can press Alt-B to hide the conveyor, or Alt-B again to show it. So you still have the option to hide it if it's in the way, and uh, when you need it again, you can just simply show it. But you can find this feature also under the View menu, and he here in the Extras you will find the Conveyor tool, all at the bottom. So now that we have these elements or these uh, images, we can choose to click and place something with its original size. Or if I press undo or command Z, then it will load it back to the conveyor. And I can, instead of just clicking to place in something with its or original size, we can click and drag to create a new frame for it. As I said, if I want to go to another element, let's just say the text, I can just use the arrows on the keyboard, right and left arrows, and then I can click and paste in the text and the other text frame next to it. Or the same way as with images, we can also uh, use the text frames and click and drag to create a specific size in which we would like to fit the text in. If you decide not to use an element that you have in the conveyor, you can press escape and that will delete it. Now, try not to use escape to hide the conveyor. Remember that's Alt B or to use another tool, you just simply press the other tool's keyboard shortcut instead of pressing escape because the conveyor can remember all the elements that you picked. So if I press a V, for example, for the move tool, I can make some changes. Let's just say I make enough space for this text here and I'm going to hold down Command Shift to uh, resize it. And also the same thing with this frame here. I'm just going to make it big enough and then Command Shift uh, drag to make it smaller to be able to fit onto this new page. So as you can see, uh, now we have made some changes to this page, but if I press B, the conveyor will still have these two images that I haven't used so far. 
So the conveyor will always remember what we prepared and it works between documents. So it applies to whole InDesign. So it works across all your documents. And there are many other options here which I would like to talk about. Probably one of the most interesting things is that you can create sets in the conveyor. Now, how do we do this? First of all, let me just press escape and escape and then go back to the previous document and I am going to um, make a set. So I'm going to press B and B again to switch to collector. And instead of just clicking on something, I'm going to click and drag over a couple of elements. Now, as you can see, it already shows that that's actually 12 elements and it already created a set. So this is a set in my conveyor. And if I go to uh, the other document and switch to the placer tool, so now I'm on the content placer tool, I can press down arrow to be able to see what are the elements uh, selected for placing. So we can see inside uh, that set. And if I press up arrow again, we can see the whole set together. So all the 12 elements. Now, how can we place this in? I'm going to create a new page here and I'm going to click and drag. And as you can see, it will place in all the elements in the same layout as it was originally. So that's how I can place in a set. But there is another way to do the same thing. I just go back one step and I'm going to do the same thing, click and drag. But while I'm doing this, I can press right arrow to create columns and up arrow to create rows. If I press down, that removes rows. If I press left, that removes columns. So right and left are for adding and removing columns. Up and down are for adding and removing rows. And it creates a grid. And if I let go, then InDesign will place all these elements one by one in a grid. This is the feature that was introduced previously called Gridify in CS5. But as you can see, you can use the same feature for the content conveyor tool as well. There is another option which is very useful. We can switch between different placing modes, either to place something only a single time or multiple times. So let me just go back again to this source uh, document and I'm going to use the collector tool and uh, click on an image. And then I go to the other document and choose the placer tool. And here you can see we have these modes, the place and remove from conveyor and load next option. And that was the default one that we used previously. But there is another way called place multiple and keep in conveyor. So if I select that and I'm going to place the image in, you can see I can still place it in again and again as many times as I want. Of course, you can still get rid of uh, the elements from the conveyor, even, even if you have this option on. Remember, you can just press escape and that will remove it. Another useful option is called collect all threaded frames. So let me just delete these images and I'm going back to the original document. And here I'm going to choose a frame which is connected like this text here. As you can see, it's a threaded text. That's one frame and that's the next one. So there's a thread between them, but we can always see that if I go to the uh, normal view. So what happens if I add this to the conveyor tool? I press B. I'm going to choose collect all threaded frames. I'm going to click only on this frame on the left. Even though I just only clicked on that, because I have this option turned on, it will automatically load the second frame as well. So once again, if I come to my other document and I choose the content placer tool, I can click and paste in both frames at the same time. And last but not least, we have another option here as well uh, for the conveyor tool. And that is this last icon, the load conveyor option. If I click on that, you can see that you can actually decide to load all the content from a specific page. So I can say just load everything from page 41 or you can choose a selection. So you make a selection first and then you want to load those into the conveyor. You can even choose to load all elements from all the pages, even including the pasteboard objects. 
and if you want you can create a single set of all those elements so let me just choose a page just uh, let's say 56 page 56 and create a single set of that and then i click on ok now we can see there was five elements there and if i press right arrow so that set is in front and i press down i can see all the elements from that set so if we go to our empty page here we can just simply place those elements in in the same layout as they were the create link and map styles options are also very useful but i'm going to talk about those in more detail in another video i hope you found this technique useful and i hope you will join me next time as well here on vector thoughts plus thanks a lot for your attention